All right, folks, out at the range today here. Uh, loaded up some 22 250. Gonna run a little experiment on some BR2 primers versus federal primers. I marked them red just so I could tell the difference. Uh, got some, my standard load right here has been very accurate for me 39 grains of H4350. I wrote it down wrong on the paper. But, uh, been shooting with these and I didn't realize it till I was on the chronograph just how inconsistent the extreme spreads were. So I'm hoping that uh, the change in primer will show us a little better extreme spread. You know, just as good as groups. We'll see. Also got some 380 loads here, just 38 grains of 380. Also been a very accurate load for me. With the BR2 primer, just the extreme spreads have sucked. So. Uh, we're going to see if the difference in the primer will make a difference at all. And also, got two chronographs set up. This front one here is a Pro Chrono Digital. That's mine. And then we've got the Caldwell G2. That's my uncle's there. So we're also going to review the difference between these two chronographs and see if they read any differently. So... Stay tuned. Hopefully we'll shoot some good groups today, too. And of course, I've got the excellent Savage 110 Varmint here, 22-250. I've got the Cytron S-Tac 4-20 power scope. This is what I shot that woodchuck with last year, 550 yards. So, couldn't wait to get this thing out and shoot it again. So, let's see how it does. All right, well, I'm having a little bit of a rough go at it today. This camera shut off down here while shooting this group. It's really nothing to really write home about. That was with 38 grains of H380 with the Federal Primer. Here's the 380 with the uh, BR2 Primer. Here's our first group of the day. Uh, 39 grains of H4350. Uh, BR2 primer there and then federal primer 4350 right there so really nothing to write home about a little disappointed uh, got some weird numbers on the chronograph so let's take a close look at that and see if we can't make heads or tails of this whole thing well as you've seen the accuracy from today's video wasn't all that great Probably had something to do with it being uh, 25 degrees out. Plus, I don't really remember the last time I cleaned the rifle. But anyway, this is more of a data collecting type of video. I really wanted to see the difference between the primers and the chronograph readings. So let's take a close look at that. As you see, my first group of the day, 39 grains, H4350 with the BR2 primer. We got some very interesting results. This was my go-to load throughout the summer usually shoots an easy half minute just didn't happen today as i was saying earlier my extreme spreads have usually been pretty bad with it but that is given the caldwell readings i have not, this is the first time i've shot through my pro chrono and as you see the pro chrono's extreme spread is 21 feet per second where the caldwell reads 54 feet per second so actually if we're going off of my pro chrono's readings uh, excellent extreme spread. I can definitely live with that. 
but as you can see side by side there's quite a bit of difference in the way both chronographs are reading you look at the first line here 3724 versus 3708 it's quite a bit of difference there and then we come down our last group or our last shot is 34 versus 55 so somehow the Caldwell was reading lower and then all of a sudden it started reading higher so this tells me right here you know maybe I'm putting too much stock in what the chronographs are actually telling me as far as the primer comparison goes so if we move over to the federal primer as you can see my average speed overall has dropped quite significantly extreme spread on my pro chrono 62 with that reading of 3714 if we take that out of the equation now we have extreme spread of an extreme spread of 31 which is not too bad the federal primer with h4350 isn't quite as consistent as the br2 primer like i said the real difference is you're losing a little bit of speed just from the change in primer okay now moving on to the h380 loads uh we did lose the caldwell here on our first first group we got some pretty decent data here with the pro chrono extreme spread of 30 average 3601 move over to the federal primer extreme spread of 39 with an average of 3589 so as you see once again we just lose velocity there and we're not at quite as consistent and that's not to say that um br2 primers are better than federal primers i think it's just a difference in you know how the primer reacts with a certain powder so so i know this is a real technical video and everything kind of probably real cut and dry but i don't know pretty interesting results i i think my conclusion is is that i may have been putting a little bit too much stock into the caldwell chronograph like i said i've been doing this stuff off camera and i was just thinking man these velocities are all over the place but it's looking like to me my go-to low to 39 grains h4350 uh, with the BR2 primer, I don't see any reason why to fix something that isn't broken. That was their most consistent velocities. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, subscribing, and sharing. Uh, have a good one.